What's up, yo? Welcome back to the channel. Breaking Bad, season four, four. episode <laughs> one. Four. This one is called Box Cutter. What in the fuck? Yeah. Like, do you want me to take that <laughs> literal, like, I, box cutter? I don't know. We'll find out. But the end of season three was absolute Nuts. insanity. Nuts. I mean, just the way it all played out, I am so fascinated to see what happens as a result of the end of season three. Jesse walked up to Gail's apartment. Poor Gail. Pulled the trigger with his eyes completely swelled up and like basically bawling. Like, that's not Jesse. What if he missed? Oh, <laughs> I would be really hard to miss from that, that short of range. I'm but, just saying. Um, just the idea that Walt kind of had their plan figured out. He knew that, you know, if if he was able to teach Gail everything, that, that Walt was, you know, expendable. He could get rid of Walt, don't need him anymore. So they had to act drastically. Yeah. And they did. Do you think they're going to bring, or um, Walt's going to be like, I want Jesse again? I, I'm really curious to see how Gus reacts to all of this. Oh, great. Because, I mean, I really feel like there's only two options. One, he kind of revealed how, like, much he relies on this business for his business to thrive. And he could either just be like, all right, yeah, I, I need you, Walt. Like, I need you to run this business and to cook and make all this meth. Or he could just be absolutely furious and just, they can now be at war of some sort. Oh my God. Which, I mean, it's just, it, it's crazy. The way this is all playing out. They they lied. They got Saul to like lie. And Mike is, yeah. <laughs> Mike is, I mean, we got to see a lot of him the last couple episodes. And that dude is a total badass. And he does what he has to do. Yeah, and just it's all going business. going back to to half measures and just his speech about no more half measures and like Walt took that and like cranked it up to a thousand and was like, all right, no more half measures, no more making the same mistake twice. Just that that closing to the season was probably one of the more spectacular things we've ever seen. Absolutely, 100%. and very. Very excited to see how they carry that momentum into season four and where this all goes. Does Walt and Jesse and Saul, are they like a team? Do they have to figure out a plan to take out Gus in order to protect what themselves? The I feel like there's way more people, you know, that he would have to take out. It wouldn't just well, be Gus. Right. I mean, Gus has an, basically an empire like, <laughs> no, I know, but like you never know who would be after you. You would yeah. have to be constantly living in fear, always on the run. So do they leave Albuquerque? Do they go somewhere else? I do they start a new empire in another city? <laughs> like, another another territory? Holy do crap. Do they start working for the enemy? Yeah. I, didn't... I mean... It's going. It's going. We saw an attempt at Gus's life in that last episode... So who knows what the possibilities are. Everything is very open-ended, it feels like. There's a lot of different directions this shit could go in terms of how people are going to react and what options people have. Are we ready to just jump into it? Yes. Let's go, yo. Fox cutter. Oh, man. Oh, this is... Oh. The beginning. Yeah. He's so excited. Super excited. Poor Gail. I know. How's it coming? Feels like Christmas morning. It's really coming together. Green set of box cutters. If you have any very understandable questions. That sample you asked me to run, I ran it. It is quite good. Is that our competition? You don't have any competition. How pure can pure be? You know, purest ever. Mr. Frank? You don't know, you're fucking. I can guarantee you 
uh, purity of 96%. This other product is 99. Maybe even a touch beyond that. For our purposes, 96% will do just fine. I I'd love to know who synthesized it, is all. Oh. A man who wants to work with me. A trained chemist like yourself. I don't consider him a professional. His is the best I've ever seen, hands down. So that's how Walt got with Gus, huh? Mm, interesting. Very interesting. Gail completely vouched for his product and then ended up dying because of it. So would Gail be the box cutter? He's the setter upper. Shit. Oh, Jesse. Six three five three one to go apartment six. You know, him? Mister, this is a crime scene. You don't want to touch anything. Mister. Shit. Mister, you listening to me? Definitely didn't miss. No. Little bastard. Drive. Drive. Oh shit. I thought Jesse would have ran. I think he's too in shock. Still gonna get paid. Bigger and instead of smaller. No, does this one? I think it means you and Walt. His car's parked in the driveway. It's not a state secret. A big guy. How do you do to Mister? I'm not here. <laughs> oh, Murray. If you only knew. <laughs> she moving it so that her Walt Jr. doesn't see. She definitely moved it so that there were no questions about it, right? Yes. We need to start a cook in the next 10 minutes to keep to our schedule. Gus's schedule. Uh oh. Victor can cook? Victor is paying attention? Jesse is just... He's beside himself. He's just gone. Yeah. We ain't missing no cook. nowhere to be found. I called his condo. I called every number I have for him. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Mr. Goodman, clearly something is going on here. I mean, why would he leave his car in my driveway? People carpool to work, right? It's, it's good for the environment. He carpools to his job at a meth lab. Hey, whoa! Oh, 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 you're breaking up there. I didn't quite catch that last... Whew. You're a jetty Okay, today. okay. Do you know anything? Walter is fine, okay? I guarantee that's 100%. 
No, you don't. You got a passport, right? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm in uh, Knob Hill. I need the number four, a locksmith. It's state law, really. My whole life was in that purse, and he just came and he cut it right off my shoulder. Oh, God, Megan. Oh, Call the pharmacy. Oh, oh God. Oh. Wow, actress. Jesus. Damn, Skyler. <laughs> Sir, again, thank you so much. Really. Yeah. He's like, get me the fuck out of here. Right? Damn, she's good. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely got some skills. <laughs> I couldn't imagine Walt leaving much behind. Just sitting out. Oh shit. <laughs> she has no clue what that is. It's interesting how Marie is always purple. Hey there, I'm back. In the crystals? Damn, Hank. No, they're healing, right? What's PT? I heard you broke new ground today. I walked 16 feet in 20 minutes, which is up from like 15 and a half yesterday. Maybe this much less shit in my pants. Damn. Well, call it a figure of speech. I need the thing. Numero uno? Dos. Love you, I would help you. Thanks. I've had kids. <laughs> Sorry. I know this is not supposed to be funny, but at the same time, he's being so negative about it. You have to like... I'd probably be negative too. I know, but you have to find the positive and stuff. You're alive. She was clearly dreading coming home. Based yeah. off of the look in the car. Yeah, I like oh, shit. Sorry. I had, to, I, had to, I had to laugh at something. Should be wearing masks. Then he forgets the aluminum. One of the first steps in. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Uh oh. Uh oh, is right now. You talk first, I talk first. You talk first, I talk first. Let's talk about Gail Bedecker. He's a good man and a good chemist, and I cared about him. He didn't deserve what happened to him. Is he like preparing to execute Walt? And the next day. When you make it Gale versus me or Gale versus Jesse, Gale loses. Simple as that. I don't think he gives a fuck about what you're saying right now. No, I think he's prepping his... This is on you, Gus. Gale's death is on you. Walt, stop talking. You know what happens when you just talk a bunch. Without Jesse and myself, you have no one. This person doesn't know what the hell he's doing. No every step to his cook. Do you really? You... <laughs> Catalytic hydrogenation, is it protic or a protic? Because I forget. Help me out, Professor! Gus. He is real mad. We're here, come on. Let us work. It's called a cook. Because everything comes down to following a recipe. Steps never change. Is that what you want? This short order cook? You're not flipping hamburgers here, pal. And what happens in the summer when the humidity rises? and your product goes cloudy. Oh, oh shit. shit. How would you guard against that, huh? This equipment is useless without us, without, without Jesse and myself. Without us, you have nothing. Is he gonna kill you Mike? Kill you kill Jesse, you don't have me. We're here. This is so insane. 
I guess he was at the scene of the crime, maybe. Holy shit. Is he going to say anything? What the hell? Was that his way of being like, yeah, get to work? <sighs> Damn, dude, don't fuck with Gus. Really don't. Really, really don't. What is going through Mike's head right now? Right? Shit, dude. Well, get to work. Get back to work. Shit. Yeah, no problem. Right on top of that, Rose. Some of the shit these two have had to go through together. Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta melt another body. box cutter oh my god dude <laughs> oh shit deuces See you later. That is what a fucked up way to go. Oh, this is so nasty. I think Jesse has just compartmentalized everything that just happened. Just, just shuffle that in the back with the rest of the files that are awful. They're matching. I know. They still got the side S tag on there. You did the only thing that you could. I hope you understand that. It's not gonna find another chemist. <gasps> Where is he gonna find another chemist? Mm -hmm. It took him years to find Gail. <sighs> but he's sorry now. Are you sure? At least now we all understand each other. The same page. Shit. What page is that? Jesse's the one that says, mind. if I can't kill you, you'll sure as shit wish you were dead. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Nice outfit belt.
It's parked over in Amston. Junior was about to get up, and uh, he would have seen it. I wanted to avoid a lot of questions. You okay? Yeah. Right is right. Nope. How did that bullet get all the way to the friggin' T? Cause that's cra that's a wow. It, you know, when you shoot and Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Lab notes. Uh oh. Oh no. How much information is in there? everything yikes holy crap can that be traced back to, to Gus I would hope he was smart enough to not put super specific stuff in there I, I don't oh man cuz they're gonna tear his apartment apart, apart. What the actual fuck? <laughs> what if it's like has Gustavo's full name in there? Like, my boss. Yeah. Owner of the lab. <laughs> like, all, these are all the items that are in the lab. Oh, shit. Walt. Walt's recipe. Oh, man. S fuck, I don't know. We saw him messing around with that earlier. I. I that's where he, like, wrote all the information about, like, you oh. know, like, the purity of Walt's shit, like... Yeah. It's like, how... How deep did he go in that book? Oh, no! Fucking Gus is fucking terrifying. Yeah. That, that was that a fool, hell of an open. That was... Yeah. What a, what a start to the season. Holy shit. That fool walked in... Didn't say shit! Like, made his power known, and the way that they were shooting him coming in, it was, like, clearly from a position of power. And just walked in, just calm, chill, changed his stuff, put on a suit, pulled out the box cutter, slit that dude's throat, told him to get back to work. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I'm so... He is, he is such a difficult character to read because it's like, did he kill Victor because he failed and, like, Gail died? Yeah. Oh. Or that he was there and he was a face that could link him back? Like, is it all of that? Was it just to set an example? Just like, oh... That was crazy, and just or because he thinks that he knows what the fuck he's doing. Yeah, I mean, just just the fact that he was silent in that whole scene was just like nuts. That's scary, dude. Took care of it, walked away, cleaned himself off, and then get back to work. I didn't. I didn't think we we're gonna see another Stop. melted body. Gross. At least they did it in a proper tub this time. Well, it's like, Jesse, this is how you do it. Yeah. This is why I... Uh, I thought Mike was going to be a goner at first. Right? A little bit. I, I thought he was... Because Mike's face yeah. was just... He was horrified. Yeah. For as big and bad and tough as he is, I, he knows... He knows Gus. <laughs> like, and he knows that that dude is not somebody to fuck with. Like, I thought, maybe he's too valuable. Maybe, like, Victor was more expendable to him, maybe. I don't know. But, like, I, yeah, I thought, I thought Mike was toast. And what the hell is Saul going to do? Is he bailing? He know. asked that security dude if he had a passport. Right. <laughs> is that I'm the last? To another country. Is that the last that we're going to see of Saul? Aww. <laughs> like, is that is he Gandhi? Like, did he just bounce? Oh man, that was whew. that was intense. This is this show has cranked it up. It's taking it to yeah. 
and Jesse, I don't know how to read him. He is like... No, he filed that shit away in the deep, dark file cabinets that are in his brain. And I, I don't know if he's just come to terms I don't with know. the situation they're oh, in. Oh yeah, we're on the same page. What page is that exactly? It's like... This you're going to hope you're dead? Is he just going to like... Be like, eh, I can't do anything about it now. Like, there's nothing, there's, there is literally nothing that he could do about this. And he's, like, confident that Gus isn't going to find another chemist to replace them. Walt's all freaking out that he thinks that they're going to be killed any minute now. But, like... I'm worried also about the family now. You fuck with me again, I will kill your family. It's just... I mean, Yeah. Because Walt's the valuable one to his business. He's going to start, like, picking off his family. Like, go go get even, like, like Hank. Like, is he going to... Like, at what level? Like, how far is this going to go in terms of, like, a point that he needs to prove? Or is it over? I don't know. Is Gus just going to be like, go back to work. Go make me millions of dollars. And everything's cool? Like, I don't see that. I don't see that being the case at all. No. I don't see Gus just being like, yeah. you know, It's all good. Yeah, you turned all of this into a gigantic disaster and a mess. It's fine. Yeah, thanks, Walt. Like, I don't, I don't see that being the case with Gus, but... Damn. Again, he's a businessman, and he's a really smart businessman, and he's not going to fuck with his business. And Walt provides the best opportunity for his business to grow and keep making money. I just, I don't, I don't even know what to say at this juncture. That was another shocking moment when Gus lit his throat. Because it's like, you see that shit all the time in Game of Thrones and like other shows. Shit, right? But like, With a that, fucking fox cutter. That shit felt so much more real. Hells yes. Like, that's the Hells thing. Yes. That's the thing that this show does that other shows don't do is that this feels real. This takes an element of, like, real life. It's like, oh, Game of Thrones, is it's got dragons and, like, all kinds of other Mythical stuff. Mythical creatures. And it's like, this shit, it, it feels like this shit could be playing out somewhere. I'm sure. <laughs> like, in real sure. life. And just, it, it just has, it just has an entirely different, like... Is this based on a true story? I don't know. But it definitely has, like, because drugs and drug dealers and murder like all this stuff is like plays out in real life it just feels so much more real which is why it's so much more shocking mm -hmm. like fuck. I, I was shocked all right do you have any other thoughts no do you have emojis yes okay so we're gonna go in order of the emojis so we have a tie for gus it you comes know. on a shirt, but it's a tie. You know, he just walks in. Like the purpose. Murders a guy. The puts purpose his... is the tie. They don't have a red tie, or at least yeah. in my emojis, there's no red tie. So, I mean, if you have one. No big deal. Just put your dress clothes back Whatever on. Whatever the hell. A knife. There's no box cutter. I could not find a box cutter. So, pick your favorite you know, knife. Get with the emojis. Come on, Samsung, Google, whatever. Yikes. Um, and then we have the skull with crossbones for the um, corrosive material. Rest in peace, Victor, who got oh. melted. Oh, God. Poor Gail. And Gail. You know what? Add a tea kettle for Gail. <laughs> oh, yes. There you go. That's a good one. There you go. So. So much death. I know. The tie, the knife. The skull crossbones, the tea kettle. There you go. There, you there go. are your emojis for episode one, season four. Leave them down below and leave any other comments, any other thoughts that you have about the start of this season. Holy shit, it feels like we just started a really wild ride with this season as if the rest of the show has been I know, crazy but like already. all the other episodes, like, all the other seasons are like, what the fuck happened then? Yeah. Because holy shit, exactly. now. Exactly. I think this is going to be a fun ride. We're off to season four. This is going to be dope. Leave them comments. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications, yo. And we will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.